Published 9:44 Eastern Standard Time, the 16th of February 2018. Updated 20:43 Eastern Standard Time, the 16th of February 2018. West Bromwich Albion's season descended in two farces. Four senior players were accused of stealing a taxi to get back to their hotel on a boozy night out in Barcelona. Police are investigating the incident that involved Johnny Evans, Gareth Barry, Jake Livermore and Bo Asmai Hill shortly before dawn on Thursday. It is claimed they took a taxi to McDonald's in the Olympic Port area but then drove off while the driver was inside the restaurant, leaving the car outside their five-star hotel three miles away and going to bed. Pictured clockwise from front left, Kieran Gibbs, Craig Dawson, Gareth McCauley, Jake Livermore, an unknown fan, Gareth Barry, Johnny Evans, Boaz Myhill, Chris Brunt and Grzegorz Krikowiak, obscured. Circled players, LR, Livermore, Barry, Evans and Myhill are those that were involved in the incident. Evans has been named as one of the four West Brom senior players involved in the incident. A receptionist at the one, a boutique hotel, is said to have called police after noticing the abandoned vehicle. Police arrived at the hotel, woke the players, and took them to the local station for questioning before releasing them. It is understood the players were not breathalyzed as none were stopped at the wheel. Despite the incident, the four players are likely to feature against Southampton in the FA Cup fifth round tie on Saturday. A source in Spain described the players as looking worse for wear and said the taxi was taken at 5.30 a.m. on Thursday before being returned to its rightful owner at around 8 a.m. All four players last night released a statement apologizing for the events which have been the subject of widespread and negative publicity, without going into details. The Premier League's record appearance holder Barry was also involved in the incident. Police were called after the players, who are on the club's mid-winter training trip to Spain, were said to have driven a taxi from a McDonald's drive through before abandoning it outside the one boutique hotel where they were staying at. Continued, we freely acknowledge and apologize for the break of curfew which we accept represented a breach of the standards of professionalism required of us as representatives of West Bromwich Albion. The club launched an internal investigation and it is expected all four will be fined two weeks' wages for staying out far past the midnight curfew. The club believe any police action will be dealt with without the need for further travel. The incident increases the scrutiny on Alan Pardew, who organised the trip, having overseen only one Premier League victory in 13 games. It is understood Pardew planned the break before West Brom defeated Liverpool in the FA Cup but pressed ahead despite winning at Anfield to set up Saturday's tie with Southampton. A number of players are said to have held reservations in advance about going abroad with just four days in between games. The West Brom manager accepted he faces an uncertain future after Chairman John Williams and Chief Executive Martin Goodman were sacked by Unagro Chuan Lai on Tuesday. That was the morning West Brom squad flew out to Barcelona for the mini-camp at Espanyol's training complex. The team took a walk in the afternoon after landing, having lost 3-0 at Chelsea the previous night, before going through a session on Wednesday. Livemore was one of the four players who released a statement through the club to apologise backup goalkeeper My Hill was involved in the alleged incident which took place in Barcelona. Pardew allowed his players to enjoy a team meal, with Kieran Gibbs, Craig Dawson, Gareth McCauley, Jake Livermore, Gareth Barry, Johnny Evans, Boaz My Hill, Chris Brunt and Grzegorz Krikowiak being photographed at a restaurant off La Rambla at around 9.30pm. It has surprised insiders that Evans, Barry, Livermore, and My Hill, all highly experienced players, then broke the midnight curfew and became engaged in the activities that have brought embarrassment. There were also allegations in Spain that Pardew returned to the hotel on Tuesday night having lost his phone and wallet following drinks. But it is understood Pardew's jacket containing the items was stolen while he was in a restaurant. The player's statement added, We felt it important we identify ourselves as the players involved in an incident which occurred during the training camp in Spain this week out of respect for teammates who otherwise could be implicated by association. The drive through the players allegedly took the taxi from Is the Makoto on the Ronda Littoral, which is thought to open 24 hours. The hotel the players were staying at is a 10-minute drive away and in the meantime, we would like to assure our supporters that this incident does not reflect the determination and resolve we possess to do all we can to recover a difficult season. Pardew, the former Newcastle, Crystal Palace and West Ham manager, said he was upset by the players' actions. We've gone there to get ourselves up for the run-in and this is obviously not ideal, he said. They broke a curfew and that's unacceptable and I feel a bit let down by that, but the manager defended his decision to take the break. 
Burnley are away, Everton are away, Liverpool are away, he said, we try to get somewhere in a city where we could get good training and come together and unfortunately this incident has hampered that, we would like to take this opportunity to apologise to our teammates, the head coach, the club and especially the supporters for the events which have been the subject of widespread and negative publicity. We felt it important we identify ourselves as the players involved in an incident which occurred during the training camp in Spain this week out of respect for teammates who otherwise could be implicated by association. We freely acknowledge and apologize for the break of curfew which we accept represented a breach of the standards of professionalism required of us as representatives of West Bromwich Albion FC. The club has informed us that it will now conduct its own inquiry into the incident and we will cooperate fully. In the meantime, we would like to assure our supporters that this incident does not reflect the determination and resolve we possess to do all we can to recover a difficult season. Manager Alan Pardew, pictured, had taken his bottom-of-the-table team away to try to turn around results that have left them seven points from safety nevertheless. Pardew is keen to get through Saturday's match before dealing with the players. They are available for selection, because the investigation is still ongoing, he said. I'm trying to get a team out there that can win a game. I'll play my strongest team to try and achieve that. Pardew conceded his position would come under pressure after the events of this week. When your chairman and financial director have been moved on you can't be certain of your job, he said. You just have to try and do your job and that's what'll do. I'm going to try and use my experience to get us out of this situation. The next two matches will be played without Daniel Sturridge, who has an injured hamstring. The club do not believe the problem is serious but it will keep the striker out of Saturday's match and next week's game against Huddersfield. West Bromwich Albion are seven points from safety at the bottom of the Premier League. They should be giving the impression that they are fighting for their lives. Their predicament in the league accentuates the stupidity of all this, and that's what it is, utter stupidity. The players have left themselves open to attack from supporters, who, after spending hard-earned money to watch their team, can justifiably ask, do these players really cur? You also have to question whether players need this sort of break in the middle of the season. Alan Pardew was trying to do the right thing and I suppose the theory was that a relaxing break could improve team spirit, but it has completely backfired. It was awfully bad judgment from the players and showed a lack of respect for the manager. He will be furious, especially given he allowed them a night out and they broke a curfew. The last thing you expect your players to do is break that trust. I am sure the players will regret it, but they should have been more streetwise, especially given the league position. They have now, allegedly, stolen as many taxis as Pardew has Premier League victories. From the outside, it just looks a mess. Police were called after the footballers allegedly drove off in the cab from a McDonald's drive through and abandoned it outside the luxury five-star Spanish hotel before going up to their bedrooms. File picture.